book of good. <laughs> Is that the coming up with new names for the Bible now? Book of good. All right, I'm going to open this shit up and if there's heroin in here, I don't know. Welcome back to Resident Evil Zero, everyone. I got a hot take for you today that is going to upset everybody. Salisbury steak is good eating. Okay, all right, now that I pissed everyone off. Oh, we got the fire key. So we have two doors we can hop into now. One is right here. And they're both dead end rooms, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Shouldn't spiral out of control too much. Uh, what do we got? Lighter fluid. Okay, so it was special fluid that he needed. Alright then, is there anything else in here? That's so weird. I, I guess I never thought about how fluids work. Oh, there's a bottle down here. Okay, I only have two inventory slots, so I kind of got to think about what I'm picking up. But that's all I see in here, so I think... I think we're good otherwise, okay. But yeah, I don't know, do lighters need special fluid? I guess I could go get a big lighter, dump it out, and then put gas in it and see if it lights. That sounds kind of dangerous though. So I guess... Oh, that's not good. That's... That... That... Oh my gosh, okay. Could have been worse. But yeah, I'll just take Resident Evil's word for it. I'm gonna try not to explode myself over, you know, nothing good. All right, so Billy, you should be able to take this, combine it with that, and then he can get into that candle room. That's good to know. Um, we are going to switch back though. Um, you know what? I'm gonna make up some Molotovs quick, just cause I can grab the gas and the Molotovs and then I can kinda like stack them up and everything so it won't take up space in this room, so I'll be right back. Okay, well I was under the assumption that the Molotovs were in this room, but they were not, so they're going there, that's fine. Oh well. Okay, so the other fire room was up here, where was... Oh wait, the um... The candle room was also up here. It's gonna be right next to the fire room. Maybe I should have just brought Billy. Oh, well. I'm too far gone now. Oh, there's the damn Molotovs. I'd be such a good speedrunner as far as optimizing routes. Okay, this hallway. Okay. Has a bad habit. Damn it, this is the wrong door. It's down. <laughs> the fire door is down the way. But this is the room with the candle, right? Oh god. Oh wait, no, they're upstairs. Okay. Alright, we're still we're still good. We're still good. Alright, but people keep popping up in this hallway. Alright, we're still good. Okay. Good. That key is done. So now we got three inventory slots. Please no enemies, please no bugs, particularly. Ooh. Was that me? What was I stepping on? Was it not me? Photo shows an elderly scholar immersed in his research. All right. Books are arranged in no particular order. Some of them seem to have been removed from the shelf. Um... Okay. Uh, okay, alright. I smell a puzzle. I also smell some bullets. I'm gonna take that. Um, oh, shotgun rounds too? Okay, but what about this letter? Assistant Director's Diary, September 2nd. A useless bunch of trainees, as always. Where does headquarters find these idiots? We did get a couple of decent ones though, so I can't complain, I guess. Uh, William and Albert, they might have a future. Hold up. September 25th, Scholar Will Practical... Is that Practical AI or Practical Al? They are they really are opposites. Um, and they're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and gruel about them both. October 7th. 
I uh, got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry between those two. It's the first time since the training facility was built that Director Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. Well, whatever. Orders are orders. I'm going to have them tearing at each other's throats. Okay, alright. Sounds good. Alright, I guess I'll grab this for now and drop it later if I have to. What does the switch do? Um. Alright, I can see. Oh, okay. Alright, I gotcha. So I should be able to just push this table down this way, right? Okay, good. And Rebecca can push the table. I'm glad they didn't pull the whole, you know, Billy had to come down here and push it thing. At a certain point, it just becomes ridiculous. Alright, there we go. And hopefully she's tall enough too. Come on. Come on, Rebecca to Pitabusa. Alright. Seems to be something here. This is straight out of Resident Evil 1. Iron Needle. Okay, alright. Everything's coming together so nicely. No loose ends. This is... This is in such contrast to how Tormented Souls went. Like, it's just, it's so weird. Like, this game is a couple puzzles, couple solutions, couple puzzles, couple solutions, all clean, all tidy, you know. And then Tormented Souls was just a goddamn mess. Alright, uh, so, what... What do I want to do? I mean, I could use that key right now. Granted, I would have to go up with the bugs. Oh, I don't really relish the thought. Otherwise, I could grab Billy and go do the candle thing right now. I think either way... I'm kind of going to have to use Billy, because... Well, not really. I don't know why I thought that. I guess I'm sexist. I just automatically thought Billy would be the one with the shotgun, but that's that's stupid. Women can use shotguns. That's dumb. I'm as dumb as the game. Making making Billy do all the pushing and shit. Okay, don't don't need that. Alright, so let's swap. Uh Oh, Billy has a shotgun. Maybe that's why I thought. Maybe I was thinking that from the last episode. It was in my subconscious. Um, so maybe... Maybe just transfer the handgun over for now. Take the shotgun. And maybe, Billy, you run for it? I don't know. Just... Yeah, alright. Rebecca, you be the pack mule for now. <laughs> that'll, that'll just be fine. And then we'll go light the candle. And then eventually work our way to the clock tower. What's the path for that? Oh yeah, we gotta go up to that cage area where the centipede boss is. Gosh, that centipede boss was something else. <laughs> I still can't believe we pulled that off. Oh my gosh. If only I had a memory, a functioning memory for video games. Alright. Like then I would remember when bosses were and I could be prepared for shit. But no. Then I gotta finish him off with a knife. Alright. At least, hopefully it makes things interesting occasionally. Alright, I'm gonna make sure to aim for this candle. There we go. Um... We good? Sometimes I wonder how all these damn mechanisms work. I want a door where you gotta light the damn candle to unlock it. That shit's awesome. Maybe it detects the gas or something, or... Maybe- Oh boy. Yeah, I didn't mean to intrude. See, I don't know how I feel about using shotgun ammo on regular zombs, like... Ah, shit. I see, I, I should have thought about this. Okay, where am I currently? So blue is for Billy, this is a dead-end area. 
I mean, if I can just kind of zip through here, that would be optimal. How are you guys doing? Zip, zip, zip. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I was going to blast. I was. I really was. Okay, they're, they're on the ground. That might be okay. Okay, grenade launcher ammo. What else? What else? This is not it. Oh. Okay. Filing cabinets in a state of total disarray. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest. I, excuse me, filing cabinet? Do you mean... Do you mean bookshelf? Is that a translation error or something? Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is something. Yeah, oh. What do we have here? I got a whole audience down here. Good. <laughs> Book of good. <laughs> is that the coming up with new names for the Bible now? Book of good. All right, I'm going to open this shit up. And if there's heroin in here, I don't know. I'm going to start doubting this. Oh. Ah, okay. All right, so we got that. Uh, so I'm guessing there's a book of evil for the black wings then. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be up here, so we'll probably find it somewhere else. Alright, can you guys just, like, calm down? Alright, maybe come over here. Alright, and then, and then maybe I, uh, maybe I hop down. Hop down really fast, and then go right by you guys. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure back bites are the worst. I don't know if they get a multiplier. It's 1.5 or 2 times or 10 times. How's my health? Still fine. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm glad Billy's got antibodies. In all the movies, if you get bit, you're just done. That's it. But Resident Evil? Nah, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. But if you get like 20 bites in a row without a green herb, then you gotta start worrying. Oh, okay. Jeez. Alright, so... I think... Drop these for now. Probably the grenade launcher rounds too. We'll just leave those there. And then I think... Where is the way... No, that leads to the balcony, right? It's, uh... Yeah, it's in the, um... The path is in the room over here, but I'm gonna go all the way around. And we're gonna go up and try and use this clock and we gotta set it to a certain time that was in that one note in the in the meeting room or well it wasn't in the meeting room I think it was referencing the meeting room I think it was 8.15 if I remember right 8.15 or 8.45 I think it was 8.15 oh boy I hope I'm right and I swear Oh no, I forgot about the damn birds out here. Please. Oh no. Oh, oh. Wait, okay. Can please. Okay, alright. One tickled me for a brief second. That's all they got. And now this. This is gonna be interesting. Alright, do you guys just wanna, like, just, just piss off? Just for a brief moment. Ooh. Wait, that shot went off. How did... Oh, maybe it didn't hit this one. Oh, my... All right, you're good? Oh, my gosh. All right, I hate those things. Okay, here we go. Solidly built clock. Minute hand is missing. I always forget that I need to... Oh, my gosh. I forgot to give Billy... A minute. <laughs> All right. Okay. I made the trip. I made the trip. Oh, I'm so dumb sometimes. Okay. All right. Plant that in the clock and then hopefully. Yes. Move hands. Turn the minute hand. The minute hand should go right. Uh, a couple times. There we go. Our hand. I'm pretty sure it was 8.15. And that should be good. That seems like a good sign. 
Hey, there we go. Okay, all right. Um, should I just leave Billy here? Oh. Cool, both the doors are open. I didn't know there was a second door that opened up. That looked like it was in the main hub or something. Um, can I edit this anymore? No, I can't. Okay, good. There won't be any more doors to screw around with. All right, well, I'll just run back with Billy then. And hopefully not get eaten alive by these birds. I think I'm going to use tank controls through here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Damn, okay. See, that's just a sign. I need to stop being resistant. That really is just faster. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I wonder where that... Actually, that second door must have been up around the balcony. On the second floor of that main room, so it's probably right next to this door, actually. So we could go up there and check it out. As long as it's not a dead end. Or, I mean, as long as it is a dead end. It is. Okay, what do we have in here? Except I'd prefer to bring a handgun, though. Oh hell, yeah, this is why, because there's zombies in here. Alright, a verse of poetry while there's a zombie nearby. The moon bows to the earth, the earth swears loyalty to the sun, and the great law of the sun governs all things. This itself is the keystone, the pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to the heaven. That seems like a puzzle. That, that definitely, that seems like something. Is there, is there a puzzle in here? Hi, how's it going? Oh, oh my, oh, there's one of those things. Hi, how are, how are you all doing today? Yeah, I'm just going to delete you from existence for a moment. And by a moment, I mean forever. Because there's, you kind of in my way. Oh, you too? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay, listen. Listen. Shit. Okay, well, at least it's a front bite. I swear I hear another set of footsteps. How many zombies are in here? Oh my gosh. Yep, that's right. All right, go around. Let's check this corner. Shotgun shells. Maybe I should just get out of here now. But I need to search everything. Fire looks like it was lit only a short while ago. Books lie scattered on the floor. Okay, I see nothing else in here. Let's get out. Okay, just making sure. All right. Ooh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. One shell, one bite. I can live with that. I'm very, very frugal, I guess. Have to be while playing these games. Where'd I leave the other slide? Was that in... Was that in this room, or was that... Oh, wait, I think it's... On the floor right here. Is that... Yep, okay. I don't know 100%, but I think it might be used in the room up here. I don't know why. I have an itch in the back of my brain about that. But we... Oh, hi. How's... Sir, 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 sir. Excuse me. Yes, I'm just... Can I please... Thank you. Oh my. Well, just like that, I went into orange caution. That's not good. Hope I can get back by him. That was not good, though. I really was giving the man a hug. All right, listen, I'm not going to be frugal with the ammo anymore. You guys, I can't really be, like, taking any more hits. Oh, yep, here we go. Okay, I'm glad I remembered that. That's actually nice. All right, use that. No, I want to insert one more, I think. Unless there's a point of... Oh. There's something written on top of the picture of the seat. Uh. Okay. MO disc. Interesting. I'll take that, thank you. Microfilm image resulting from overlaying microfilms A and B. 
Numbers appear on the seats of the conference room. Yeah, listen, let me just grab that picture. All right, that might be useful later. Okay, uh, hey, but, sir, sir, sir. Oh, are you, are you serious? You're making me use two rounds because of your bulletproof brain. Okay, handgun rounds. And that is it. This is a dead end. Oh, ha are you serious? You guys, you guys are all bullies. You're making me use my ammo. You both are making me use two rounds. That's bullshit. Also my fault for bringing the shotgun in here, but... God damn it. I mean, at least I have the grenade launcher around. I have some other higher power weapons. So I'll live. Speaking of I'll live, though, this guy. I dodged. I actually dodged that. And by, like, dodge that, I, I purposely did not include, you know, the qualifier intentionally. It's just the camera angle changed, and then I switched directions out of it. So, there we go. That's one point for non-tank controls. Okay, so... M.O. Disc. God, we really kind of cleaned house here. What do we... We must have to run up there and do some shit with that. Billy's not looking so hot, though, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking, um... Okay, maybe give Billy that gun back. Maybe exchange that. Take the ammo disc from him. And we'll play as Rebecca for a little bit. Let's send her up here. I don't have anything equipped, huh? Actually, th I think the characters run faster, maybe? If you don't have any weapons equipped? Is that this Resident Evil game? I don't know. It's some of the other ones, at least. All right. Um, is there... Can I use it up here? Yeah, that's right. Please insert system disk. All right. What do we got? Now loading complete. Perfect. Please enter the input code. Oh, zero A. Hold up. Hang on. I got this. Um, zero A. So that would be the... There's no input device. Yeah, silly, Rebecca. At least Billy de debriefed you, like, when you did your trade. So it would be the front left. And then, uh... The one back here. Zero, eight. Gotcha. Wait. Oh, hell, of course. You know, they... They didn't invent the partner system in this game for nothing. They're, they're gonna get maximum mileage out of that. All right, Billy, get your ass up here. I know you're probably in no condition to go upstairs right now on account of like your acidified body from having hugs with whatever weird Marcus, leech Marcus thing. But uh, yeah, you're gonna have to get your ass up here. All right, so you need to be right here. Click that, oh wait. Is this gonna screw it up? Cause I'm technically doing A0 right now. Oh, I think that was good. Cool, oh. The swords are lifting. Three swords, I only knew of two. Why am I always in the dark? About these things. All right, so there, I know there is one in the entrance area. Yeah. Which that doesn't really seem to go anywhere, except I don't, I don't know what that little box is. Then uh, uh, the one in this room, and then I don't know, maybe, no, that red door on the right side, there's a water door. So we can't go that way yet. So I don't know. Oh, it's up top. Actually, yeah, that's where the other sword one was. Okay. 
Um. Well, shit. Okay, which way should we go? Maybe start off here? It looks like a small-ish area. Guess we could do that. Although you might... You might want to equip your handgun here. I don't know if I should be rolling in with... With yellow caution. I don't know. I'm playing a little bit daring today. Let's see, what do we got over here? Oh, I got shotgun shells over here. Billy, Billy, why don't you pick these up? And I never grabbed the ink ribbons over here. God damn. All right, let's roll. Can we take that suit of armor, though? That could potentially be protective. And the sword. Infinite ammo sword. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Oh. Are those lab coats? Okay, he dropped. Oh, hell. Oh, oh. Okay, I got lucky twice now. Okay. Please drop. Um. Okay, are you are you down for good or? There we go. There we go. Saving a little bit of ammo. Every little bit helps. Okay, except I need to equip that. There we go. This hallway looks very similar to the other one. Okay, so I think this was a big room up here. Yeah, kinda. And then what is this? This is like another weird hallway, except it's a dead end. That music. Hello. Oh. They did that on purpose. Okay. I don't know. This is this is risky. This is risky. This is This is beyond risky and dumb and stupid. I'm just trying to save bullets. Drop. Drop you asshole. All right. Whew. Okay. 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 Room, room, room. Is that an explosive gas canister? That would have been useful. Okay, I don't know exactly where this body is. Well, now I do. Shit. I got greedy. I got greedy. Now I'm in orange caution. At least me and Billy are bros now. Alright, he should be dead. Should be. Emphasis on should. Ooh, first aid, okay. Alright, swordman of medicines, too old to be of any use, except that shiny first aid spray we grab. First investigation unit notes, we are searching the facilities and it looks like a lot of the chemicals survived. Fortunately, the storage tanks are still all full. We have just started and there's still a lot we don't know, but it appears that the chemicals can be mixed to produce new substances. Chemicals are scattered all about, not because of the accident, more a uh, result of plane mismanagement. When we reopen the facilities, we will have to develop a system for dealing with these chemicals. Something scrawled on the back of the note. Red plus blue equals sulfuric acid. Green plus red equals stripping agent. Okay. All right. So, looks like some kind of chemical. Put it in the mixing set. Sure, green chemical. Oh, okay, all right. I don't know if I should have done that. Um, so I'm guessing, okay. So I'm guessing there's chemicals just everywhere based on what that note said. And I'm not gonna find them all within within this room. Alright. Alright, I'll do my best. Alright, now this is a big room, so chances of enemies... Please, no bugs. I don't hear them. Could be a boss, in which case I'm screwed. Oh, maybe just a puzzle? 
Hey, if it's just a puzzle, that's cool. As long as you keep it that way. Okay. That's two items. I have two slots. Um... Oh, it's a chess board. A game appears to have ended in checkmate. All right, so we've got a uh, black king in a corner and then two white rooks and a king by it. And then I don't even see what piece that is. Is that a black bishop by the rook or something? I can't, I can't quite see. Oh, it's a pawn. Okay, so... I think um, this this king was moved, right? That was up behind the the rook. I think that was the only piece that moved. All right, man, this man must have really loved his chess. He's got freaking people-sized damn chessboard up in here. Where are the other pieces? What happens when you take a piece? You just chuck it out the window or something? Maybe he's got like a laundry chute or something. <laughs> dump it down and then like the uh, the servants have to bring it up from like five stories below. Evil. Okay, well, that coincides with my story. Alright, let's grab that. That should have the black wings in it. Something more here. Marcus's diary. Is this his room? We finally did it. The new virus. We've called it the progenitor. I want to carry it back and start detailed investigations immediately. March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care as long as I can continue my research into progenitor. He can do what he likes. August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, but he's becoming intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this to my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore all this virus's secrets. A place where no one will get in the way. November 30th. Damn that Spencer, he came to complain to me again today. He thinks a progenitor is nothing more than a money-spinning tool. Fool. But if his influence continues to grow, can only be bad for my research. If I'm to properly develop progenitor, I must strengthen my own position too. September 19th at last. I've discovered a way to build a new virus type with progenitor as a base. Mixing it with leech DNA was the breakthrough I needed. I call this new virus T for tyrant. October 23rd, it's no good. I can't hold for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only humans can be proper mammalian subject for these experiments. Uh, otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. November 15th, someone seems to suspect something about my experiments, but perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. January 13th, at last they are ready, my wonderful leeches. Those of low intelligence, they will never have the privilege of tasting the sense of joy and satisfaction. Now, finally, I can move against Spencer. Soon I will control everything. January 31st. The devices I set to protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. Fool, no doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th. Today, I again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. If that is what they're after, I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke out the pests. Those two are the only ones I trust, apart from my beloved leeches, of course. But Spencer, it wouldn't end there, would it? I will announce tea at the next director's meeting and collect my just rewards. Okay, alright, so it was Marcus who came up with... I, well, it kind of sounded like progenitor and then, or at least discovered progenitor and then invented the T virus too. Jeez. Okay, all right. So, all right, Bookie Evil. Let's open this up. Okay, got the black wing. So, we'll need that. And I'm assuming we can solve that puzzle now. And then we got flame rounds and ink ribbons over here. 
Um, I might... It's not maximum efficiency, but I might just pop that first aid spray. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. We'll live. What survival horror? You don't have to manage resources well in survival horror games. It'll be okay. All right, so that's that's it then for at least these sword doors or whatever. So let's do that. Then let's yeah let's let's go see if we can take care of this statue puzzle. I kind of thought that was gonna be the last puzzle we'd have to solve for some reason to get out of here. Um, isn't? Yeah, okay, well, I can drop these here. Hopefully, yeah. And pick these up. And I'm actually gonna grab the ink ribbons over here just for my sanity. Okay, so these do combine nicely. I, okay, I didn't mean to look at the flames. My bad. All right, black statue. Whoops. Whoops again. Okay, combine. There we go. All right, and we should be able to just put them on here, right? Something's written in the basement. Good and evil are brought into balance. New path will be open for you. All right, so we should just put them on here. That's not balanced. Look at that. Oh, boy. All right, there can't be anything good down in there, right? Oh, my gosh. I don't... Where is that gonna go? Oh, my... But I have the other sword doors to take care of, don't I? Like, where does... Where does this shit out front... Like, that seems like the important way to go behind the damn painting. Hang on, okay, just just hang on. I'm gonna do a little bit of recon. Because the sword door up north, I'm not super worried about. Because there's like a red lock door immediately after it. So I think we can't do much up there right away. Maybe it's a key item though, I could be wrong. Where does this go though? That's all blocked off. There's a key item up here. Well, an item. Something up there, you can't see it well. Um. Oh. No response. Looks like it's not getting any power. Wait, is this the lift that goes up to the bird hell up there? Because there was like that elevator that had like a crate on it or something. Oh, and you bring the crate down. And then you can probably get the thing. Okay, so that's all you do out here. So that is... Okay, all right. So that painting, that is the next main area to go. Okay, all right. I'm glad. I think I just reasoned it out. Okay, all right. Well, you know what's up next then is me grabbing this ink ribbon and leaving you guys on a bit of a cliffhanger, all right? So, I mean, we found out a little bit of lore just now about Marcus... Um, but otherwise, I mean, we just worked our way through the mansion a little bit more here. But you know what? That's how it goes sometimes. But next episode, we're going to figure out what's hiding behind Marcus's beautiful face in that painting. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.